Combining vintage inspired designs with a lot of features to suit the modern musical landscape, Reverend Guitars are maybe one of the most exciting guitar brands to emerge in the last few decades. I'm going to take a look at a few Reverend models, see what makes them stand out from the rest and I don't know, maybe help you find your new favourite guitar. Now based in Ohio, Reverend Guitars got their start in the late 90s in lead designer and founder Joe Naylor's garage, later to be joined by the super group of Ken and Penny Haas. They've gone from strength to strength and are the kind of go-to guitar brand for anybody who's looking for something just a little bit different to the norm. And with a roster that includes Billy Corgan, Greg Koch and Reeves Gabrels, just to name a few, it's no surprise that they've gone from strength to strength. Short history lesson aside, let's jump in and check out these guitars. Now we have split this video up into chapters, so if there's a specific guitar that you do want to check, just have a look just down below there and the chapter time codes will all be. We are running through a Vox AC15 today through a Helix just to get some of the pedal tones as well. The Charger is a single cut solid body guitar in the Reverend lineup that is made in Korea. Now the specific of these guitars are actually quite interchangeable but I'll touch on that just in a little bit but let's get the specs out of the way first. Reverend use Karina Wood on most of their electric guitars, all the ones that I'm going to be playing today have all got Karina bodies. It is actually quite an unusual wood to use on electric guitars. It, it does have an absolutely superb tonal quality to it as well and certainly for anybody who is liking a bit more weight to their guitar this is definitely it's it's not super heavy, but it's definitely got a bit of heft to it. We've got a bolt-on roasted maple neck, which is also a staple of the Reverend catalogue. You'll see a lot of roasted maple necks kind of across the line. With 22 medium frets with a 25 and a half inch scale and a 12 inch radius, which is on a really comfy medium oval shaped neck. Reverend use bonite for their nut, which is actually a synthetic material used to imitate bone, and it includes locking tuners on most of their models as well, which actually is a really welcome and kind of premium feature on a guitar like this. And as I mentioned as well, Reverend do use bolt-on necks with a lot of their guitars, but one of the cool features as well, and I'll just show just this camera here, is that they have a six bolt-on kind of construction just right there, which, you know, it just adds that little extra a bit of stability to your guitar which you know if you're traveling or you're touring or anything you can kind of rest assured that this is going to be pretty okay when you're chucking it out of the back of vans and whatnot. The interchangeable nature that I touched on earlier that comes in the form of the pickup configuration that is available on pretty much every single guitar in the Reverend line. Now the names may differ but certainly the DNA sort of transfers across all of them so you're going to get very similar specs but you can really fine tune them to you know what kind of pickups that you really work well with. You want two humbuckers? You got it. Humbuckers in a P90? You got it bud. Two or even three P90s? You best believe it. Or even one with a big spy on it? <laughs> Reverend have got you covered. And of course the versatility doesn't stop there. Maybe one of the coolest features that pretty much every single Reverend guitar has on them is actually the inclusion of a bass contour knob. This really sort of puts Reverend in that territory where I think you'd really struggle to find a genre of music that you couldn't play on one of these. But what a bass contour knob does for those who may not know is it's basically the kind of opposite to your tone knob where it's like the tone knob will take away some of those high frequencies from your guitar the bass contour will actually sort of like tame those kind of lower frequencies as well. I'll just show you right here. So this is with the bass contour all the way up.
even without changing pickups, that you know dramatically changes your tone and can kind of take like a humbucker into almost like a single curl territory, or again, you know, kind of just give you really unique sounds for maybe some of the slightly lower output pickups that we'll give a try to. <laughs> For comparison's sake, let's see how the Charger 290 compares to its humbucker sibling. Now, spec-wise, we're pretty much the same across the board, but the biggest change being the change from the HA5 humbuckers to the 985 P90 style pickups on this one. Reverend design all their own pickups that go into the guitar, so they all do have quite a unique flair, which I think really works well with these guitars as well. Obviously, with the extra bass contour and the tonal options, the fact that they have voiced them all to the guitars just means that, you know, they're they just work absolutely perfectly with those features. As I mentioned, Reverend have got several different configurations that you can get across pretty much each model of guitar. But what I think is the kind of coolest thing about that is that, you know, the guitars will sort of mold around your playing as opposed to having to mold around the guitar. The fact that you can get like the same model of guitar, but suit it to either, you know, single coil kind of P90 style or get some incredibly high output pickups in the form of the Reverend Rail Hammer. You know, it just shows like just the incredible versatility of these instruments and how they can fit sort of any player. The biggest model I'll look at today comes in the form of the Club King now. Obviously on first inspection, the immediate difference with this that it is a semi-hollow guitar with a spruce top and still the Carina body. The combo of the body, the P90s and obviously the Bigsby on this gives it much more of a kind of vintage vibe but much like every Reverend, you know, looks can be a wee bit deceiving because this can sort of handle anything between nice jazz chords to, you know, fully blown out kind of desert rock in the style of like Queens of the Stone Age. And of course this includes the bass contour on it also, so, you know, the possibilities of sounds out of this guitar are much more than you would expect from any sort of traditional semi-hollow. And also this is our first example that has a rosewood board on it, which Again, with the multitude of versatility options across the board, you can get those in the other models as well if you do prefer a rosewood fingerboard. Now, have I saved my favorite for last? Maybe, but this was the one that I was certainly the most excited about when I unboxed all of these guitars. Is it the shape? Maybe. Is it the trim? Yeah, potentially. Or is it even just the combination of a humbucker and P90? Maybe. Certainly out of all of them, this is the one that I just can't get enough of playing. While doing research for this video, I did find a quote from Reverend Guitars that I thought was, you know, it was really apt and it sort of suited the mission statement that I feel they're going for. I'm just going to check it just to make sure I get it exactly right. But it goes. It became a crazy idea that guitar makers should craft guitars played in a bedroom or an arena with the same sense of purpose and passion. And yeah, I think they nailed it. So as always, the question is, who is it for? And in all honesty, if it's not been made clear enough throughout this entire video, 
I really think there is a Reverend guitar that can suit any kind of player or any type of player that you know is looking for something maybe slightly different or just something that they can take to any show or any writing session any bedroom to record or just you know obviously playing yourself that can sort of do it all so if you want like super high powered riffs then you've got the humbuckers you've got the rail hammers if you want those really nice cleans you've got the p90s and i keep making reference to it but honestly i don't know why more guitars don't include a bass contour on them or at least some sort of option to shift that eq i think it just it just sends these guitars just into this like other level of just usability. But to be more specific, I think if you're looking for a guitar that's just a little bit out of the ordinary, but of course you want it to handle several different tones and genres, then it's kind of a no-brainer really. I think you owe it to yourself to try a Revan guitar. What do you think? Have you tried a Revan guitar? Is there a certain model that you really like? Let us know just down in the comments below. And while you're there, give us a like, give us a subscribe. It really, really helps. Every single like for this video, I will turn the bass contour down on every single one of these guitars. But until next time, I've been Kieran. Have a great day.